Hi, my name is Alessandro Rocco Pietrocola and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you already subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know that in this channel we talk about fintech, lifestyle, financial education and investment. In general, how to be in the top 1% in the world. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, smash the button right now. I guarantee you it's worth it. In this video of today, I um, want to discuss with you uh, about doing business in Hong Kong versus doing business in Singapore. I received a lot of uh, requests and questions about these two jurisdictions because I post a lot of, uh, um, a lot of uh, news and uh, both jurisdictions are in my top six jurisdictions in the world for fintech. So I post uh, a lot of info, news in my stories in Instagram and my blog. You probably saw many times. So I got such a request about what is the difference between doing business in Hong Kong versus doing business in Singapore and which is the best country for me. Can you help me to pick the best country? If I am a startup or if I already establish and uh, in my home country and I want to have a point in Asia, it's better than Kong, it's better than Singapore. How does it work? How does it work the accounting? All those kind of questions. So stay with me. I will try to analyze as usual. Uh, bringing into my experience, I have, be, have been doing business for a long time in Hong Kong, same in Singapore. So I just share you my experience and I try to uh, give you the elements so that you can evaluate for yourself which, which jurisdiction is the best. As usual, that is not the best what it work out for everyone. Now, when it comes to Hong Kong uh, company, so the first thing what I would say, opening in Hong Kong company is pretty much straightforward. I mean, in a week, 10 days, you can have everything without any problem. You do not need to have a local di director in, in Hong Kong. You just need the local secretary, what is very easy to um, find out. So anybody can be director can incorporate his own Hong Kong company and basically can start to do business. Um, I really like in Hong Kong that uh, the tax uh, is uh, quite interesting. There is an 8% uh, tax until the first million and after go up to 16%. There is not VAT or GST or whatever you call it back home. Now, uh, when, we, when we talk about uh, Singapore, we have to consider that if you decide to incorporate your company in Singapore, then uh, you should have a local director. So you should find and all the provider who are helping you with opening, with opening company in Singapore can help you to find a local director, but it, it, you should have a local director in Singapore. So in terms of tax, there are lots of exemptions in the first year, so you may end up having a very low tax, at least for the first three years after, you're going to pay around 17%. So there is no big difference in terms of tax between Hong Kong and Singapore, but uh, there are two uh, things. In Hong Kong, you can be the only director of your company. In Singapore, you need to have a local director, so you can't be the only director of your company, unless you not decide to apply for uh, residency in Singapore and to relocate to uh, Singapore. That is one of the things what you have to consider. When it comes at the price, obviously the fact that in Hong Kong you don't need uh, to have a local director can be yourself, so the director can be yourself, obviously the company is much cheaper than in Singapore. But you should consider one important thing. In Hong Kong, the audit is mandatory, while in Singapore is not. 
So this, what does it mean? That you will have to pay for an audit even if you um, are just a startup -er and you um, did few transactions. So in Hong Kong, you should always go uh, and you should always pass an audit while in Singapore, um, there are not audit requirements unless you're not doing millions and millions of uh, turnover. So this is something what can uh, be useful for the, for you to, to, to decide. Now, um, another thing what we should consider is uh, how easy it is to open a bank account. So nowadays, if you're not resident of a country, to open a bank account in a specific countries can be very, very difficult. Uh, there are lots of fintech companies that offer solution for you. So if you wish to open a, an account for your Singapore or Hong Kong, uh, company, I would say that the requirement and the difficulty and everything are pretty much the pretty much the same. So, uh, just to sum up, incorporation incorporation cost Hong Kong much cheaper, Singapore more expensive. Uh, Hong Kong you can be the only director, Singapore you need a local director. Accounting policies, rules, condition pretty much the same Hong Kong Singapore. Huge difference, mandatory account, mandatory audit in Hong Kong, while there are some exemption in Singapore until <clears throat> different millions turnover. So this is the huge difference. When when we come to the immigration, so many people say, I don't know how is to live in Singapore, how is to live in Hong Kong. Well, I would say the quality of life obviously is uh, very high. You can find whatever you want. There are no any limitation. There are plenty of shop in both of city, and uh, there are plenty of activity. What you can doing, um, so you won't feel bored. Not in Hong Kong, not in Singapore. Um, my personal, but it's, again, it's my personal opinion. I really like much more uh, Hong Kong because it's more. Uh, chaotic and uh, you feel you're living so there are always lots of activities lots of uh, um, noise um, you, you, you run and then you feel the vibes of the city Singapore is much calm and uh, probably there, there are more green area there is a nice beach not too far um, a, a beach island as well so uh, probably if you like more calm nature, probably you will like more Singapore. If you, like me, like much more the dynamic city and you like to attend different events and cigar club and, and the expert parties and, and, and the networking and conference and uh, running to that restaurant, meeting that friends here, then Hong Kong is definitely the best city for you to live, um, to live in. Now, in terms of immigration, they are both pretty much uh, similar. It's not easy as in Dubai for an expert to relocate, but both cities offer you the possibility to um, apply for resident in the country. I would say that Hong Kong is kind of um, faster and simple than Singapore. Singapore have a system with the quote, so you may uh, find difficult to find a quote for your nationality. So I would say that for Hong Kong, it's slightly easier to become resident rather than in Singapore. So from this point of view, my personal um, opinion is to live in a chaotic and capitalist city as Hong Kong better than to live in like socialist <laughs> and calm uh, Singapore. But again, it's only my personal opinion. So uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think? And uh, if you visit the city or maybe you live in the city and you want to share your experience, I really appreciate it. There are a lot of things what going up uh, recently, especially in Hong Kong, that uh, really, really um, hope will be uh, sorted out very fast. I love Hong Kong and I hope they can keep to be the city they always been. Now, just to uh, sum up, I guess that uh, we are going again for a very long video. Um, 
if you decide to do business in Singapore, in Hong Kong, I will just leave a uh, link as well in the description to my blog where you can find lots of useful information about doing business in Hong Kong or doing business in Singapore. So, and um, you can learn all the details. And I'm not going here in this video to describe all the, all the details and all the requirements. And as well, if you want to jump into a one-to-one -one call, I will leave a link to the, my wake-up call. and We can have just a one-to-one uh, call and I can clarify everything you need to know if you decided to move to Singapore or Hong Kong and to relocate your business in Asia Southeast. Now, one more thing before I um, uh, conclude this video is that uh, I think uh, this works and also if uh, you working a lot with China, then Hong Kong offer you a lot of extra benefit comparison with Singapore. And I would say uh, the Hong Kong is a really nice uh, uh, bridge if you work with mainland China. So um, you, you may consider maybe you do a digital business or import protects of business with China or whatever. So you may find much easier to work with a Hong Kong company rather than with a Singapore company. Now, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was very useful for you and you got a lot of uh, information. So if you have any question, just comment below. We'll be happy to reply. Again, thank you for watching this uh, video. If you're not yet subscribed, to my YouTube channel, subscribe right now, smash the like button, show me your support. I'm here to record as much video possible in order to share my experience with you. And I really love to receive your support. Thank you for watching, take care.